Next time you hear grown folks talking, shut the fuck up, here. Yeah? Greetings. Welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Politics and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the difference between sports coats slash sports jackets, blazers, and suit jackets. Now, the difference between the three isn't as complicated or as complex as it may seem. The differences are actually pretty subtle, uh, pretty nondescript. However, there are differences, and it should be known what the differences are. Um, it could save you some, some time and money when you're doing your shopping. So, first thing we're going to do is talk about the piece I have on. Now, is this a sports coat? Is it a blazer? Is it because it has a matching waistcoat? Is it a suit jacket? Here's the small dilemma we have. This is Rugby Ralph Lauren. This and the waistcoat. So, I was able to make this purchase off of Poshmark. I didn't see any pains. If there's a pair of matching trousers that are the same material and the same weight, then this would be a suit jacket. However, if there isn't, and it was just a matching waistcoat, then this would be a sports coat or a sports jacket. That's pretty much the telling factor in whether or not it's a suit jacket or a sports coat, if there are matching pants. Now, because rugby has been defunct now for about five, six years, I don't know if there's matching pants. If I see some matching pants somewhere, then I can determine whether or not this is a suit, jacket, or a sports jacket. But it's a nice piece, I love it. Like I said, matching waistcoat. I got my pocket square on the day. I threw on a pair of uh, polo blue label denim, and I have the rugby train conductor cap on for added effect, and then a nice plaid Oxford cloth button down with uh, some nice fall colors in it to give up the outfit a pop of color and a pair of brogue boots and we are good to go with this outfit. Oh, and I used a bandana. Use a bandana as my pocket square. Anyway, let's get started. We're gonna go through each, uh, each item separately. The suit jacket, the sports jacket or sports coat, and the blazer. And I will break down each piece for you so by the end of this vlog, by the end of this episode, you'll know the difference between the three. All right, y'all ready? The sports coat or sports jacket, the least formal of the trio, is derived from old tweed coats that were traditionally worn when hunting or participating in other sporting activities. A bit sturdier than the blazer and suit jacket, a sports coat retains aspects influenced by its rustic predecessors even in contemporary fashion. Also, sports coats are frequently patterned and featured more eye-catching designs like crests or designs under the lapel. This particular sports coat, as a matter of fact, this entire ensemble is all rugby Ralph Lauren. This particular sports coat is a slim fit tweed variety. It is single vented in the back. I paired it with a pair of corduroy insignia pants. I also threw on a cricket vest. Both of the pants and the vest have the dove and olive branch logo on them signifying peace. You throw on a club collared plaid rugby Ralph Lauren button down shirt, dress shirt, and a rugby Ralph Lauren tie and rugby Ralph Lauren slippers and to finish it off a rugby Ralph Lauren cabbie with the burgundy and navy stripe on the side. This entire ensemble as I stated is of the rugby Ralph Lauren variety. The tweed sports coat pulls everything together. Blazers are dressier than sports coats but not as formal as suit, suit jackets. Traditionally, a blazer is wool blue with a pocket and has distinct silver or gold buttons. However, this tradition has receded over time with men opting for cotton varieties and blazers without this customary buttons. However, I would venture to say that navy blue 
with gold buttons or black buttons is a blazer and it's probably non-negotiable however you can also include any 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 coat that's of the cricket or rowing variety is also a blazer it's going to have the, the uh, distinguishing characteristics of a blazer including some type of distinguished buttons and the cut of it also would, would favor that of a blazer um, here I am wearing a cricket blazer that came out last year on ralphlauren.com it had the matching cap I paired it with a a chevron oxford cloth button down with the club collar um, I'm also wearing a blue and white ascot and a pair of khakis and that finishes off this particular ensemble so this this blazer this is a blazer because it's a cricket blazer but uh for the most part if we're if we're if you're not going so outstanding as far as a cricket blazer or a rowing blazer then when you consider a blazer consider it to be navy blue black yes i guess so depending Black is probably going to end up being a suit jacket or suit separate. Navy blue, gold buttons. Lauren Ralph Lauren sometimes comes with the black buttons in the factory and outlet stores. But navy blue, gold buttons, that's a blazer and that's non-negotiable. The suit jacket is the dressiest of the three. It is made from finer wool with a few summer versions made from cotton or linen. It is always accompanied by matching pants. Even, however, if the suit jacket is sold as a suit separate, it is still intended to be purchased and worn with accompanying pants. So basically, the suit separate, the suit jacket, I'm sorry, is just what it sounds like. It's a jacket that's made to be worn as a suit. So you have a pair of matching pants to go with it. And if it's a three piece, you would also have a waistcoat. Here I am wearing a tartan suit with these matching suit jacket and matching pants. I paired it with a cable knit cardigan sweater vest in yellow to complement the yellow stripes in the suit. Button down shirt, neckwear, I'm wearing a pair of brown Shanley loafers. And I have on the navy blue driving cap. But I also, I have several other suits. I have a navy blue wool suit in the closet. I have a denim suit that you saw in denim, denim, denim. I have uh, a couple of summer suits in linen. I have a double breasted gray suit. I have a couple of purple label suits. So a suit jacket is, is intended to be worn with the pants. However, you can, depending on the material, and the cut of the jacket you can venture away from just wearing that suit jacket with the matching pants you can also wear a suit jacket with jeans or with another pair of pants as long as they complement each other you can get away with it a little bit of ralph's coffee espresso of course i did the froth you know if i was a white guy my name would probably be like Biff, Biff Frothington Jr. Esquire the third or some shit. But I love me some froth in my coffee, man. Hold on one second. Mm. Damn, that's good. That's another episode in the books. Tell me what y'all think we learned about or we talked about the differences between sports coats, sports jackets, blazers, and suit jackets today. Showed y'all the difference visually, discussed everything with you. That should set you on the right path. If you weren't already on the right path, a lot of people already knew this difference, but some people didn't, and that's fine. I didn't always know the difference myself. But this episode should have set you on the right path, so moving forward, you can make those purchases with confidence. Speaking of purchases, so this is actually uh, a birthday episode. It's my 47th birthday today as I post, which is Thanksgiving, November 28, 2019. 
I am big on birthdays. I love my birthday because if it wasn't for my mom and dad doing their thing or whatever, I wouldn't be here. So I always look forward to my birthday. Not necessarily always have to have, it's not about gifts or anything like that, but you know, hey, I'm an only child. I suffer from only child syndrome. Got a lot of stepbrothers and stepsisters. I'm an only child. I grew up as a child, so you know, I got a little, a little spoiled away sometimes. But with that being said, if anybody wants to send me a dollar or two for my cash app, hey, feel free. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. You send me a dollar or two. You know, if all my subscribers send a dollar, or everybody watching this video sends a dollar, hey, yeah, yeah, we can do it big tonight. Anyway, get in the comment section and, you know, just tell me what you thought about the episode. Let me know. Uh, how y'all doing and how your Thanksgiving is going because I do care about that as well but more more than that I need you to hit that like I need you to hit that subscribe I need you to tell a friend because we here happy holidays y'all have a good one